Hey, how's it going? Well, um, it's kind of funny how sometimes we call the uh, bushcraft and survival uh, community a family because, you know, this is kind of a, uh, a small world, but I have been tagged to do uh, on-the-spot EDC uh, pocket dump by Mr. Joe Mobley, my really, really good buddy. Um, I was kind of expecting this to come around. Uh, eventually through some guys but I wasn't expecting it this quick I actually watched uh, Swiss Army Zippo's video this morning and then I saw uh, Mike Travis and I saw that Mike Travis uh, tagged Feral Woodcraft and so now it's my turn um, I was actually heading out to uh, to go play around in the woods for a little bit when I saw that I was tagged so you know, you know I was like I'll, I'll stop and and do this but um, I'll show you what I carry with me every day and uh, what I was on, what was on my person when I go out to the woods. But um, it just so happened to be what I had on at, the, at that moment. So let me rearrange the camera and I'll, uh, I'll show you my, my pocket dump. Thanks, Jerry. All right, so these are the things that I have with me every single day um, at work, you know, all the time. And first thing that I normally always have on me is my belt. Um, this is just a belt. I think I got it at Bass Pro Shop. A uh, long time ago, but it's just got a single flathead screw in here and uh, I actually had to change out the belt buckle because I broke the first one, but um, This is pretty cool. This is all Cordage. I know it's not 550 cord, but I have taken off this little uh, metal tab before and It started unweaving it. So um, this is my main belt that I always have with me uh, I wear that every single day in my front left pocket I have my cell phone, which is what I'm recording with. Then I have my truck keys, uh, house keys, uh, storage key. Uh, I got this penny with the cross stamp in it a long time ago. And then I have the uh, the uh, Gerber tool. I forget what it's called, but I just wrapped it in paracord. And uh, I actually use this quite a bit. So this has come in pretty handy. And it also has a bottle opener on there. Um, I also have in my front right pocket a large ferro rod duct tape and paracord lanyard always have that with me with that in the pocket itself I always have a big lighter used to have an orange one but I lost it <laughs> um, well that or someone took it um, clipped in my front right pocket is a flashlight that I have. This one's actually fairly new compared to the old one, but this is just a 511 TMT PLX. Uh, it requires two AAAs. And this is from, this wears from uh, my pocket knife against it. But I used to have one just like this for about two years, and it took a dunk in the pool, and then it started. Uh, it started just wearing out and it wouldn't work anymore but I don't think it's that waterproof but it lasted for a while so I just got another one and then uh, my main knife that I always have with me it's a uh, K bar dozer Let's see if I can get this to focus on it there we go um, Bill dozer design and I absolutely love this knife the only thing that has happened to it over the years is my little thumb screw came out but it's a liner lock uh, green micarta scales I really like that it's longer and it's kind of like a a kep art design and it's got a saber ground on there um, stays really really sharp and the back of it the spine uh, throws really nice sparks in the ferro rod so that's what I all oh, well um, <laughs> my wallet this is uh, this is one that I've had for years and years and years I've actually got a new wallet in the mail that I'm going to be doing a review on coming up pretty excited about it but uh, I'm going to be getting rid of the uh, the big long wallet and I've had this one for probably four or five years and it's, it's never done me wrong so um, let's see what else do I always have my watch on me this is a uh, Casio G-Shock and it's the multi uh, the tough solar and it's just got the uh, different wave um, wave cycles and it is solar powered 
and I got this as a gift and I've been using it now for about two years and I love it and then around my neck I've got uh, some dog tags I normally wear these um, this was for my brother that died in the army it says uh, Joseph David Knight United States Army um, I'll rescue and protect those who love me and that was his favorite verse Psalms 91 and then I have my dog tag right next to it. I didn't serve in the military, but um, this is just something we both had one. So mine says, Jonathan D. Burton, humble yourselves before God, fall to your knees in tears, he'll lift you up. So um, that's what I always have with me. So as I was walking out the door um, to head out to the woods, well, actually, I forgot this too. I normally carry a little wad of uh, this small bank line. But as I was walking out the door, um, and saw that I got tagged, you know, I came back and decided to do the video. And like I was saying in the beginning, how it's a small world and we kind of are all of a family. On my hip, I had my Sabre Ground GNS by LT Wright. And what's funny is I actually, uh, actually got this knife from Swiss Army Zippo. <laughs> so he, uh, he gave me a really killer deal on it and uh, said he wanted me to put it to good use and I have been and then this is a uh, LT Wright uh, ferro rod that a good buddy uh, Chris Bragg um, had them make and he gave this to me as a gift for helping him out so kind of funny it is a small world um, that knife actually ties into the video that started it so that's my uh, EDC pocket dump with a little bit of extra uh, with the knife and uh... all right so that was my response to the uh, EDC pocket dump on the spot uh, by Farrell Woodcraft or Joe Mobley and I'm going to tag Gary Lawson at C2G Fab I'll tag Travis Henry at Survive Without and I will also tag uh, Justin Wolf at Grier Wolf. Get after it guys and uh, thanks a lot Joe and y'all have a good one. Thank you.